now we will discuss about how the quickset algorithm is analyzed and what is the maximum time complexity what is the minimum time complexity it takes right so here already i have explained about my partition algorithm and this is my quick sort so what i did in this now each time i checked the low is less than high or l is equal to less than high then we will call the partition and we will pass the low and high partition algorithm in my previous example i have explained now you see suppose i have total number of element is 15 suppose total 15 elements are there i want to divide it so suppose my element my fiber exactly i have chosen the middle element in the mid my fiber element is chosen so array is divided equally suppose my mid elements there are 15 elements mid is 8 so when mid is equal to 8 i have divided into suppose 1 to 7 i have passed here and another one is suppose you can pass 9 to 15 again of suppose this array also imagine that my mid will be exactly uh, my pivot will be exactly in the mid position so suppose mid is equal to mid is equal to 4 then we will divide it into 1 to 3 and this will be 5 to 7 and this side also suppose mid is equal to 12 then we will go through 9 to 11 and this will be suppose 13 to 15 and this side also exactly suppose mid is equal to 2 and we will go through 1 and 1 single element we will go 3 and 3 single element this side also suppose mid is equal to mid is equal to suppose 4 in this side we will go 5 and 5 and this side we will get 7 and 7 single element and this side also suppose mid is equal to 10 and we will go like this 9 and 9 and 11 and 11 this side also 13 13 single element and 15 15 single element here my criteria is if the fiber is exactly divided the array into two halves then the array will be like this now you tell me for this how many uh, times it will execute so first time whenever we will check we will do it n number of comparisons after that we have divided into n by 2 here n by 2 if you will combine this also it will take this this n will be n by 2 and this side also n by 2 and this n by 2 will be n by 4 n by 4 n by 4 n by 4 total n like that so first time whenever we are doing this in this label this is the tree level this is the um, binary tree this is at label 0 level 1 label 2 and this is the last label where we are getting each element means we are applying our divide and conquer principle where the problem is small here in this label the problems are small we should not have to divide again these problems are individual problems and small problems we should not have to divide it and sort it but up to this level we have divided so that means this depends upon the height of the tree if we will divide the array exactly in the mid position means our pivot to divide the array into exactly in the mid position then the height of the tree will be the time complexity here the height of the tree is nothing which here if you will do it n by 2 n by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 so n by 2 to the power k you can get the single elements so if you will take n by 2 to the power k in the single elements so n is equal to 2 to the power k where this is equal to the log k is equal to log n base 2 so k is nothing but the height of the tree height of the tree so if the height of the tree is k then the total time it will take log n for division so each time how many each height how many elements are there in this also n elements are there this this side also n elements are there this side also n elements are there but if you combine n by 4 n by 4 n by 4 n by 4 total n number of elements right so total if you will combine all labels n number of elements the, the time complexity in case of a based case is n into log n base 2 n into log n base 2 order of 
order of n log n base 2 this is the best case time complexity now imagine that the best case for the uh, quick sort is very difficult to achieve maybe it will randomize the if you will search it it will achieve suppose our elements are i will say you that suppose 5 6 3 2 9 like this so how could we assume that exactly our pivot we may choose this or we may choose this or randomly we can choose this how could we assume that our pivot element will exactly divide the array into two parts that is not at all possible so in case of quick sort i am telling you the best case is most probably not at all possible randomly it, we may get the choice but to achieve the best case it is not at all possible in case of quick sort this is one point you should have to remember now if this is the case of a best case now you we will think about the worst case this is the only sorting algorithm in which the worst case will come when the array is in sorted order how we will check it now suppose my array is in sorted order suppose my array is in sorted order suppose my array is 2 3 4 5 6 7 I have taken my pivot value is this now you tell me whenever I will take this pivot value I'll start I here I will not increase but J will decrease up to this because these, these values are greater these values are greater than private these values are greater than private so J will be decreased up to this when the partition will be happened here only so if the partition will be happened here then the tree will be so suppose here 1 2 3 4 5 6 total six elements are there then if the partition will be happened from one then the right side two to six we will consider next if second element we will go then the right uh, so second element will be the private element and that will be the sorted order so then we will remove that second so three to six we will take then four to six then five to six then six to six to get the array now you tell me in this tree the height of the tree is increases though there are only six elements are there if exactly we will partition it then the tree will be like this so suppose uh, one two three four five six if exactly partition will be happen in the middle that is three suppose then one two and this side also four and five and six then if you will divide it one one two two and here exactly mid is five you can say that four four six six here the height of the tree is there are three levels here how many levels are there that means if the tree is in sorted order we should have to partition uh, take the pivot and the same place we will divide so that is why unnecessary division will be taken place so now you tell me if there are in elements are there first first place pivot will be the first element that means after uh, uh, taking the proper place pivot element other elements we have to again check again comparison so first two ele uh, elements you have to take n elements second time your pivot will be in proper place means the smallest element will be in proper place next time you have to go for n minus one elements next time you have to go to n minus two elements next time you have to go to n minus three elements that add up to one elements so this will be like n into n plus 1 by 2 this formula evaluate that it will be order of n square so the worst case time complexity worst case time complexity of quick set is is order of n square this is worst and average case also the best case is what I have explained previously so what the best case to achieve the best case it is difficult in case of quick sort that's all about quick sort algorithm along with its time complexity